Hi, I'm Ireland Black, and I'm proud to be born and raised here in Red Deer. I volunteer between different local organizations because I hope to inspire the next generation through setting an example. And I also hope to play the role of a positive influence to the youth in the community who may need additional supporting guidance. This past year, I had the opportunity to mentor a fourth grade boy. This particular 10 year old boy suffered the loss of his mother two years ago. I had gone into this mentoring role with the idea that I was to help instill and teach qualities such as positivity, respect, and patience. But it was through our sessions that I found I learned more about myself through him than perhaps he did through me. His strength and resilience to, do, to deal with not only difficult situations in his present life, but also in his past, and to still have an understanding that things might not always be good, but to keep going and to find reasons to be happy and to try and make others happy was amazing. Volunteering in the basketball community was easy because I was able to maintain a role in the sport that shaped me. I remember being in the sixth grade and playing basketball with a purse that carried my heart monitor. I was quiet and I was shy, but basketball taught me to communicate, to work with other people, to not just be physically tough, but to be mentally tough, to practice patience, and above all, that being a teacher and a leader on the court was more important than being the top scorer. Basketball took that shy sixth grade girl and turned her into the captain of her grade 12 team. But it was through coaching and refing that I was able to give back what was given to me. A basic understanding of fundamentals and the passion for the game. Every time I step into a gym, I think of all the advice that was given to me by my previous coaches. I want to pass that advice forward so someday maybe they'll be coaching and hear me giving them that same piece of advice. Overall, I think the opportunities I've had through volunteering, through basketball, through lifeguarding, and from being a third year psychology student have all given me more opportunity and therefore more reason to continue doing what it is I do. It wasn't always easy being a full-time student, a lifeguard, a mentor and a coach, a friend, a sister, and a daughter all at once. But what really kept me inspired and motivated to continue doing what I do was the immediate feedback of joy and fulfillment. Being in these positions provided me with a type of soul food that I couldn't really find anywhere else. It was often a smile that happened during or near the end of a session, whether it was a, can I really put this cast on my teddy bear from a kindergartner who was touring the hospital? or a quiet, have a good week in college from that 10 year old boy, or I'll see you later coach, leaving the gym. Little moments like these and the smiles and positivity that I received being in these positions really kept me inspired to keep going because I just wanted more of those moments. Some advice I have from the next generation comes solely from my experience. The path you choose may not be easy, but it will also not be common. There will be people who want to ruin what you've built. Underlying conditions that aren't always obvious to others, but you will have to overcome them every single day. But it is not through trial and struggle that you find excellence. You find excellence when you are able to not only be a positive impact in someone's life, but when you can take that experience and the impact you made and turn it into something that improves you and your life. And that's how you find excellence.